this time we camped at Jackrabbit Mountain Campground in Hayesville, North Carolina. This campground is in the southwest corner of North Carolina, just across the Georgia border, and it is on Chattooga Lake. It's a beautiful area. Check out the video and see why we liked it. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. This is the United States Army Corps of Engineers campground we reserved online at recreation.gov. There's just a little sign on the side of the road that says, Go to the left. There is no ranger station, which is a little different than most of these campgrounds. And as you first come in, there is a dump station and they have potable fresh water. Being that this is a place that you boondock, no sewer, power, or electricity, we stopped and filled our tanks with fresh water because we don't like to carry that much weight traveling down the road. Once we did that, we pulled into the campground area and there's a sign there that tells you to contact the host which is directly on the left and with their phone number we just went into the campground as there was no place to pull over and park there are three loops a b and c we were in loop a site 29 so we pulled in we did notice later on that the host came by on their golf cart just kind of checking things out so I suspect a lot of people don't actually stop there's no place to park your rig to check in so this is us driving the truck into our site we did not bring the freedom hauler where we normally would carry zippy but we didn't bring zippy our smart car with us we just had the two spiders which we put on the back of the truck we knew that we were going to be riding in the mountains and if we needed to get anything we would just use our bikes the site we're going to be in we just have to back into it but it was up on a hill which posed a little bit of a problem this is the longest site in the campground 129 feet can you move over go forward and move over to the passenger a little bit i needed him to move over to drive a little bit in the grass because of the hill right there and we did a little scraping along with many other people at least we just did a little scraping we didn't actually dig into the asphalt with the back of our hitch that we normally have the tote on 10 feet 5 feet 4 3 2 1 stop well we wanted to try out the solar on this boondocking trip here but uh that's all we get a little bit in the back couldn't tell from the pictures how many trees we had here. It looked like there was going to be more sun, but so have to rely on the generator. Or maybe not. What you doing now, Dave? What you doing now, Dave? Generator. Battery's dead in the generator. Can I try it? Maybe I have a magic touch. Try it. Oh boy. Uh. Ah. Nope. Right there. Uh-huh. So you can do it manually. Give it a pull. Go, sister. No, you go for it. <laughs> this site ended up working just fine for us with plenty of room and our friends came to visit and they were the site right next to us. Ron and Jackie are here. Now we're setting up. We're going to have some fun. Used to houseboat boondock with them on the islands in Lake Lanier. Many years. For many years. Never did it on land, so this will be fun. Previously where you saw the sign that said go to the left, if you go to the right, you end up going down to the boat ramp. They have parking down a little street on the right hand side for your trailers and then the lake is straight ahead. After I turned around and came back out headed towards campground on the right hand side is extra parking and this is where we dropped and put up our spiders so it's a good place to unload your cars. Just past that are the dumpsters 
and you keep on going and you will go past loop B and all the way to loop C. There are 99 sites in this campground. Loop C has sites 80 to 100. They are probably the smallest sites there. Mostly are close to 35 feet. There are a few larger sites in there. They do have their own shower house and bath house. Jack Rabbit Mountain Campground is located in Hayesville, North Carolina, just north of the Georgia state line. It offers scenic lakeside camping in the beautiful Netahala National Forest of southwestern North Carolina. Campers can breathe the fresh air of the forest while enjoying numerous recreation activities. The campground contains three separate camping loops. Loop A is open May through September, and Loop B and C is open May through October. Families can relax at the swimming beach May through September, while anglers and boaters can use the boat ramp to access the water. You will be boondocking here as there's no electricity, water, or sewer hookups. The facility is equipped with hot showers, flush toilets, and picnic shelters. The campground is located on a peninsula on Lake Chatook, a dammed lake on the Hiawassee River. Loop B is sites 41 to 79. They range from campground sites 22 to 62 feet with just a few that are a little bit longer than that. There are a lot of steps in this particular campground for many of the sites. Some people actually have to park across the street. Uh, many of the lots are unlevel, so you want to kind of take a look at the description on recreation.gov. But the campground is beautiful and everything's one way, so it's really not that difficult to get around. The site sits in a mixed deciduous and pine forest at an elevation of 1860 feet. Lake Chatoo has more than 130 miles of shoreline and plenty of water for recreation. Jackrabbit Mountain Recreation Area has several hiking trails and the campground has paved roads for an easy afternoon of bicycling. Mountain bikers can get their wheels dusty on approximately 14 miles of bike friendly trails. Amenities include swimming, hiking, fishing, camping, boating, canoeing, birding, kayaking, mountain biking, day use area, regular biking, picnicking, beach area, boat ramp, boat trailer parking, campfire rings, drinking water, dump station, fishing pier, flush toilets, group cooking facilities, horseshoe pit, a host, paved parking area, paved roads, paved sites, and this is loop A, which are sites 1 through 39. They have all kinds of sizes in there. This is where the biggest sites are. There were more sites on the water here as well. Additional amenities include pavilion, picnic shelters, showers, picnic tables, tent pads, and there's drinking water spigots throughout the campground. Local attractions include the Fires Creek Recreation Area and the Georgia Mountain State Fair in Hiawassee, Georgia, which occurs in August each year. Things you need to know, anyone parking in the beach area must pay the daily fee of $5 per vehicle, including registered campers that are at Jack Rabbit Mountain Campground. Pets are not allowed at the beach picnic area, swimming area, or in the picnic lot. Pets are allowed in the campground, but must be kept on a leash at all times. No sewer water or electric hookups are available. No dumping of black or gray water is permitted anywhere except at the dump station. Alcohol is not allowed in the recreation areas including the campground, beach, and boat ramp. You're not to move firewood. Checkout time is at 12 noon. Check-in time is at 4 p.m. You can call the day of your reservation to see if you can get in earlier. All sites must be reserved through recreation.gov. There are no first come first serve sites available. Reservations can be made up to the day of arrival. Campsites are $20 a night unless you have an America the Beautiful discount card, then you get 50% off and it's only $10 a night. There is a cancellation fee of $10. You may stay up to 14 nights total at this campground within a rolling 30 days. Out of 237 guest reviews, Jackrabbit Mountain Campground receives 4.6 stars out of 5. Mobile coverage is fairly good there. Verizon is the best, scoring a 3.1 out of 4 for their coverage.
let's check out the women's restroom. Well, that certainly is, uh, oh, you get a, there is a lock on here. Okay. Oh, it's just one with a gigantic shower. Huh. How about that? And it's nice and clean. And then you have a bench and hooks and a door. And the whole thing is handicapped, but there is a lock on the door. And this is just the room. another shower. Huh. Big. Both of them are handicapped. And then they got a couple of bathrooms, toilets, clean. Yeah, this is right here to pull that down. So they got these spigots the throughout the park in many areas so you can get uh, drinking water, fill up your jugs and stuff. And they have potable water when you come in by the dump station. We took a trip down to Hiawassee for the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds where they had tons of crafters, lots of good food. They had old buildings, museums, grist mill. You could see people doing their crafts there. They also had a tiger show. It was only $5, well worth it. These crafters wrap all the way around. This is from up top looking down a little bit at the vendors. There's multiple legs to this. And you can see that this goes on for a long ways. Lots of demonstrations too on wood and moonshine and soap and hominy. Dave and I took a couple of spider rides up into the mountains and it was just gorgeous. On the way there we stopped at Julie's Place which is a restaurant just filled with all kinds of homemade food. It was excellent. Definitely recommend them. Now sit back and enjoy the ride and the scenery.
of the park. We wanted to go to the dump station. And it's kind of a tight one. But he got it in there with no problem. Let's see how well he gets out. Dave's the man. Guess he's leaving without me. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.